Hey, this is Mike. Thank you so much for choosing this video. I am in North Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, visiting Judd Coon Chevrolet, and I'm checking out a 2016 Chevrolet Traverse in, in the LS trim level. Really amazing third row vehicle that has lots of room, very comfortable, and a very popular vehicle. So let's go ahead and check it out. This one in particular has the 17 inch steel wheels with the wheel covers and you have four wheel disc brakes. Now the LS is more on the bottom of the trim level, so, but it's amazing how many features you get in this particular one. So here in the front, we have halogen reflector headlights for the high and low beams. Then you have the turn signal there at the bottom. So the color of this vehicle is silver ice metallic really nice kind of a metal flake silver color which looks really good to me it's a really good option so this is what the key looks like it's just a regular key with a key fob here remote and you can lock and unlock the doors it also has a panic button here as well so let's go ahead and make sure it's unlocked so we can check it out before we go too much further i want to show you the window sticker just in case you need to get any of the information off of there you can use the pause button to get everything in detail Okay, let's go ahead and start taking a look on the inside with the chrome handle there. Okay, here's the inside of the passenger door. It's a titanium gray color on the inside. And you have like a contrast stitching that matches the, uh, the accent here with a different color. You have the chrome handle, door locks, power windows, and the bottle holder there at the bottom. Kind of a small storage space there in case you need to put something there when you get in the vehicle. But overall, sleek and simple, but just really nice. So there's your threshold. Manually adjusted seats here on the passenger side. Cloth seats with a kind of a pattern here on the inside. You have the stitching on the outside. And check it out, the stitching is kind of like a green color, which is pretty interesting. And very comfortable seats, definitely. You also have adjustable head headrests, so you can move them in and out to kind of get that just right position. Very small bolstering here on the side, so it doesn't, uh, you know, be intrusive on you. Plenty of leg room there. See, there's the dash with a metallic accent here as well. Lockable glove compartment, and it is massive, and it's smooth plastic on the inside to help keep it clean. Here in the back, you can see we have some really dark privacy glass to keep people from staring at you, but also to keep the sun off of you. So let's go ahead and take a look from the inside out. And you can see very well looking out and it kind of keeps the glare out of your eye from the sun and everything. So here's the inside of the back door. Now you can see it has the same styling as the front with the stitching and the accents there. You also have a cup holder here on the side. You also have a bottle holder at the bottom with some storage space there. There's your second row seats. Now it's kind of like a bench seat back here, which is a 60-40 split in case you need to fold it down and get some cargo space. But check it out, look at the leg room. Flat floor all the way across and makes it really easy for the center passenger, if you need one, to put their legs there so they don't have to straddle some hump in the floor, you know. You have some cup holders here with a little storage pocket in case you need to use that. Of course, you need to fold that up to utilize the center seat there. You have some controls for the climate back here as well. You have some pockets in the back of the front seats. Just below the climate controls, you have a 12 volt power supply and two USB ports, which is really handy, especially on long trips. You can charge your cell phone, charge a device. Now in order to utilize these seats in different ways, uh, you can actually move the seat forward and back using this handle here. Cargo mode is, that's the way I call it, is pulling that strap right here. And this will kind of fold the seat completely flat. Now this is really handy for cargo space, but also you can have somebody in a third row back here and they can kind of prop their feet up here and get really comfortable on a, on a long trip or whatever or you can kind of use it as like a little eating table or something like that so that's one mode the other mode is to move the seat out of the way for the third row passengers to get in so that is this lever right here right here on the side of the seat 
you just move it forward and you kind of push it and you can see it kind of sandwiches up the whole seat so that way it kind of gets out of the way so you can climb it climb back to the third row so you have this little space here and there's your third row seats you have cup holders storage spaces there on the side and you also have plenty pretty good amount of leg room there is a little bit of a depending on where the seats are the leg room can be you know minimized but this is the minimum amount of leg room that you would have so still not too bad then you have the vents in the ceilings you also have some lights and nice big glass here on the sides to help keep you from being claustrophobic while you're riding in the third row let's take a look at the back of the vehicle so back here you have a backup camera kind of hidden underneath the bow tie emblem and then there's your handle to lift up the lift gate there you can see the privacy glass you have the luggage racks there at the top so let's go ahead and open it up there's a little button under here it's electrically actuated so you just push that button and lift it up a little bit it's not very hard to lift up it does have a handle to help you close it right here so right back here is your cargo area and it's pretty decent considering you have a third row vehicle and all the seats are up and so there's some mats here but uh, underneath the mats is a storage area under this floor so you have some extra storage space under here to kind of keep things out of the way and also out of sight like say if you don't want somebody looking at it and you have some like a grocery bag hanger here on the side you have some uh, hooks here to tie some stuff down here and here you have a 12 volt power supply as well now folding these seats down is very simple you just pull this and kind of give a little bit of a push like so and it goes down like so so you can see this is the third row is a 60 40 split the second row is a 60 40 split and once you start folding seats down it really adds to your cargo space so you have this massive amount of space if you need it if you just don't have any passengers now you can have a combination of cargo and passenger you notice i have this seat down and the other seat up you can do the same thing on the on the second row so you have this long let's say you have this long box you need to put here but you can still put passengers in these seats so that's really handy so the fuel door is on the driver's side which is very convenient and it has a pretty traditional cap with a little tether there and it has a little place to hang it to keep it out of the way so to start the vehicle is very traditional you just take the key and you put it in there and turn it <laughs> so that's no surprise for a lot of people So let's take a look here at the floorboard on the driver's side. You can see I have plenty of leg room. Everything is out of the way. You have the accelerator pedal, the brake pedal, and your foot actuated parking brake here on the left side. You also have a plastic place to put your foot, which is very comfortable on long trips especially. So let's go ahead and take a look under the hood. So to open up the hood, you just reach in a little bit to the left of the center line a little bit to the left of the center line and down you stick your fingers down and you'll feel a little lever you move it to the right and you lift up the hood now it's right here you see that so you're going to reach in go like that okay so once you lift the hood a few inches it's going to go out the rest of the way easy as pie to get underneath the hood of this vehicle so here's your engine now you notice everything's covered in plastic but trust me there is an engine underneath that big plastic cover and the engine is a 3.6 liter 281 horsepower v6 with 266 pound-feet of torque now it's made it to a six-speed automatic transmission as well very smooth and quiet and pretty much everything is well organized even though it's covered up it is a uh, it just kind of looks nice and tidy and neat underneath the hood let's take a look here on the driver's side doors just like the other side except for it has a few more buttons the handle there your pocket at the bottom you have the power windows now the front are one touch down and hold it to go back up 
and the back windows are you got to hold it down and up so they're not automatic so the side mi mirrors are adjusted here you just pick a side left or right and then you can adjust it with this little pad you have the door lock controls there power adjustments here on the driver's seat so you have a forward and back and then you recline there and then your this is for your uh, lumbar support so you can really get that comfortable position so right in here is your headlight controls you have a off so if you want your daytime running lights off you just go this way and then you have automatic parking lights and then your headlights there and your this is your dimmer switch which will also actuate your dome light if you need to use that and the steering column is a tilt and a telescoping steering column so that way you can get the the right position while you're driving okay so let's go ahead and take a look here on the inside now I am very comfortable I have plenty of leg room I'm all sprawled out I have plenty of leg room knee room I can put my foot here almost straight out and I'm about six feet tall so that's really good so let's go ahead and start here on the steering wheel it is a synthetic steering wheel with a kind of a synthetic texture here to kind of replicate leather but it's really durable and easy to clean synthetic steering wheel and comfortable it has a really good thickness to where it doesn't you know dig into your bones too much while you're gripping it it's pretty firm it's not really that soft or anything so uh, it's a good thing it's a you know kind of a thick steering wheel so here on the right you have a kind of a cluster of buttons here you have a volume for your radio you can change your source for your radio say am fm satellite radio cd player that kind of thing you can cycle through your different presets by going up and down here you can also send calls and answer calls using this button with your bluetooth phone is paired to the system here on the left side is your cruise control so you just have to make sure it's turned on you can see it has a little indicator light you can turn it on and off with that button you can set it change through your speeds and cancel with that button there so your turn signal is also your windshield wiper controls here for your front and rear and here is your gauges I like the way that green is in the background that's really classy looking and you have your uh, engine coolant temperature here on the left on the very right is your battery indicator how much voltage your battery is fuel gauge right there in the center which is cool and your speedometer there on the right and your rpms on the left and then you have your odometer and what gear you're in plus you see that little s right there that is a digital compass showing you which way your vehicle is facing so that's pretty neat and i like the way they have that chrome bezel around the outside so over here we have this pretty neat pocket up here now that's pretty big hopefully my camera can't really fit over there but you can see how deep that is you can put your sunglasses you know papers whatever you want in there as long as it's not heat sensitive in that compartment and closes up that's pretty neat kind of utilizes a space that you wouldn't normally utilize that's pretty cool so here's your center stack area and you have a touch screen here so you can push buttons like so you also have some buttons on the side now they're not really buttons they're kind of soft touch buttons similar to the touch screen so I'm gonna just kind of place my finger there and you can see it goes to a particular screen here and kind of cycle through and you have AM FM satellite radio it does have a CD player for the people keeping the 90s alive you have an auxiliary input there traditional volume knob tune through the stations there and pretty straightforward let's go to source okay so there's your um, audio screen there so you have your presets across the bottom and go to AM source let's go to FM and when you plug in an auxiliary input uh, auxiliary device it'll kind of pop up and show you that as an option as well so you have a four-way flashers here right there in the center now you want to be uh, careful you don't hit it while you're operating your touchscreen but these buttons right in here you remember this little screen over here well that screen can give you some more information so using these buttons right here let's go ahead and and push some button we'll start here with this little car with the eye there that is an information screen for the vehicle 
So let me go ahead and push that so we can change the compass, calibrate the compass. We have nothing there. Uh, oil life remaining, English or metric system, we can change that. Tire pressures for the front and rear, and, and then it goes back to the compass there. Now the other button here beside it, let's go ahead and push that. So we can change the language. Auto door lock, so this will lock the doors when you, um, you know, put the vehicle in gear if you want that. Auto door unlock, it'll unlock the doors when you stop. Remote door lock, you can adjust that if you need to. So there's, there's kind of a, quite a few uh, different approach lighting, vo chime volume, lots of different things. I'm going to go through quickly because there's a lot of different things. We can go into factory settings if we need to. Okay, so and at any time we want to go back to the original screen, we could just push this button here. It'll go back to your odometer and your compass. So that's what those buttons do. That's pretty nifty that you can get some more information right there between the gauges. So down here is your climate control. So you have your fan speed, your air conditioning, turn that on and off there. Then you have your temperature and where you want the air to blow with your rear defroster. You can recirculate the air. You can also adjust the rear uh, temperature as well. So right in here, you have your trash control. You can turn that off if you need to. Default will always be on. Only reason why you'd want to turn it off is to, if you're stuck in the snow or, or mud or something and you need to spin tires to get out, uh, you can turn that off if you need to. So right here is your rear windshield wiper controls. So that's controlled with the wipe, the wash, and just a wipe there. And then a little storage cubby. USB port for playing music through the audio system or charging something. And then you have a 12 volt power supply here. Another little storage space. So there's your cup holders and your shifter. So let's go ahead and put it in reverse so we can check out the backup camera. You see you have those guidelines there and they will move as you turn the steering wheel. So that way it can kind of give you an idea of your trajectory. And then you see you have a, a red zone, yellow and green, so it gives you an idea of, you know, how close you get to something. You can see from the bumper all the way to the sky. It's really good with a wide angle view. It's a little bit of a distortion, but it's not too bad. Let's continue down. There's neutral, there's drive, and this is your normal drive position. And you do have a low range, so if you're going down the hills or something, you need some engine braking, you can uh, utilize that. You also have the ability to cycle through the gear ratios using this plus and minus here on the side of the shifter if you need to use that as well. Okay, so here's your armrest, and it's pretty wide, so you can actually use it uh, with the passenger as well. You can kind of share it there. So you can lift it up, and you can put some stuff in this little storage space right here. You can also slide it back, like so, and there's a storage space under here. You can see it has this uh, little space with some place to put some change or whatever. This is a tray, and this is a removable tray, and you can clean it out and put it back in or whatever, so that's pretty cool. But under that, look at this. I don't know if you can see in there, this is a really deep storage space. You also have a 12-volt power supply there as well. But uh, just watch out you don't clutter this area up because this is a massive deep well of a storage place. Junk drawer, I guess, is going to be uh, before too long. Okay, so up here is your rear view mirror, and it's manually uh, day and night mode by turning that little knob. And then you have your OnStar voice recognition and your SOS buttons there in case you need some help. So right in here you have some tap lights in case you need a quick reading light, like so. And there's your microphone for your Bluetooth system, so it's right there, right in front of you. So the visors have mirrors and lights on both sides. And check it out, you can also slide it out like so, so you can get that right position. The sun is rather tricky when you're driving, it always wants to get in your face. Okay, so let's take a look at the visibility here in the back. So I have one third row seat down, but the other ones are up, just to kind of give you an idea 
of what it looks like. Now the headrests don't seem to get in the way very much, so that's really good. You have lots of glass to look out of, so you can kind of see all the way around. You also have the backup camera helping you out as well. All right, there you have it, 2016 Chevrolet Traverse. So thank you for watching. Really appreciate your time. If you have any comments or anything, leave it in the comment section. And thank you to Judd Coon Chevrolet for allowing me to show off an awesome vehicle. And I'll see you guys next time.